Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the perimeter and area of triangles and trapezoids. Part 1. Perimeter. Remember, perimeter is the measure when you add all the sides of a polygon. Here's an example. Find the missing measurement when the perimeter is 92. So why don't you pause the video and try and solve for D and then check back and see how you did. I would add the three sides I know, 48 plus 20 plus 14. That equals 82. And I would subtract that from 92 because 92 is the perimeter. So we add the three sides we know, subtract from 92, we get 10. So 10 what? What do we measure when we're measuring perimeter? It's units to the first power, so in this case centimeters. 10 centimeters would be the length of side D. Part 2, area. We're going to get two more area formulas today, one for triangles and one for trapezoids. Let's start with triangles. To begin, we need to know what an altitude is. You know in an altitude, of an airplane would be its height, right? How high is it up in the air? And it's similar here. An altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular segment from a vertex to the opposite side. So the vertex is the highest point of the triangle, and the opposite side would be the base. Okay, so it's perpendicular to the base, like this. It comes down from the vertex, and it makes a 90 degree angle with the base, that's called the altitude. Now it turns out that the altitude can be inside the triangle, it could be outside the triangle, or it could be one of the legs of the triangle if it's a right triangle. So there's three different cases of the altitude, but always the altitude comes down to be perpendicular to the base. Notice that we draw the altitude as a dotted line that's because it's not actually part of the triangle. So similar to how we drew the line of reflection as a dotted line, because it wasn't actually part of the graph, this is not actually a, a, physical, a physical part of the triangle. It's something we can measure about the triangle, but it wouldn't be included, say, in the perimeter. The altitude is the height. So here, let's write this. The height of a triangle is the length of its altitude. So if that's the altitude, it also is the height. And again, the altitude is perpendicular to one of the three sides of the triangle, and we're going to call that side the base. And here comes our area formula. The area of a triangle equals one half the base times the height. Sometimes in the lower grades they teach base times height divided by two. Well, this has the same effect mathematically. Taking half of it is the same as dividing it by 2. Let's do a few examples. You're going to calculate the area of this triangle. So pause the video with the spacebar, try to figure it out, and then press the spacebar again to continue. When solving area problems, the first thing we want to do is write the formula. The formula is area equals one half times the base times the height. Then we're going to figure out what's the base and what's the height and plug those two numbers in. So there's a couple extra pieces of information here because I see four numbers. What can we get rid of? We can get rid of five centimeters and eight centimeters. Those are two of the other sides. I see the base as being nine centimeters and the height. Uh, four. There's your height, there's your base. Okay, so when we plug these in, we get area equals one half times nine, that's the base, times four, the height. When doing the arithmetic here, I would calculate half of four equals two, rather than doing half of nine. Um, so we use our commutative property of multiplication to get the half of 4 because half of 9 is 4 and a half and then it gets confusing. So half of 4 equals 2 and 2 times 9 equals 18. So 18. 18 what? 
when we're calculating area, it's square units, in this case, square centimeters. Now find the perimeter. Again, pause the video, figure it out, and then check back. Okay, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a figure. So once again, there's a piece here that we are not going to count towards the perimeter, and that would be the height. The altitude is a dotted line, right? It's not one of the sides of the triangle. There are three sides to the triangle, and that's what we're going to add. We add 5 plus 8 plus 9 equals 22. 22 what? What unit? Perimeter is the distance around the outside. It's a straight line measure. It is centimeters. Let's talk about trapezoids. The area of a trapezoid, in my mind, is very similar to the area of a rectangle. It's going to be base times height. The difference is there's two bases and they're different lengths, so we've got to find the average of the two bases. To find the average, you're going to add them together and divide by two, or in this case, multiply by a half. So the area formula equals one half times height times the sum of B1 plus B2. And according to the order of operations, the first thing we would do would be to add those two bases together. And since we're going to divide by 2, that will get us the average of the two bases times the height. Let's try an example. Okay, here you're going to find the area. Again, the first step is to write down the formula. Area equals 1 half times H times this quantity of B1 plus B2. Then we're going to be plugging in the numbers that we need, and of course there's some extra information here as well. We don't need the sides of the trapezoid. The height is going to be 4, so this will be area equals 1 half times 4 times the quantity of the two bases are 6 and 8. So now we do the arithmetic. 6 plus 8 is 14. Half of 4 is 2. And 2 times 14 is 28. 28 what? It's area. It's measured in square units. In this case, square centimeters. To find the perimeter, we're going to add all the exterior sides. Again, there's one piece of information we don't need, the altitude of 4. And we will add the sides. 6 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 equals 24. 24 what? 24 centimeters. Perimeter is a first degree measure, a straight line measure. Okay? Here's an example. Why don't you find the area and then the perimeter on your own and check back. All right. So the first step is to write down the formula, which we've done, and then we have to identify the pieces that we need. So we don't need the outside legs there, but we do need the two bases and the height. So plugging in, area equals one half times the height of five, and the bases are seven and 11. First step is to add, um, you know, because it's in the parentheses. So the first step is the grouping symbol which means we're going to add 7 plus 11 is 18. Now, again, I would use my commutative property. Instead of doing half of 5, which is 2.5 or 2.5, we'll do half of 18, which is 9, and that makes life a little easier. 5 times 9 is 45. 45 what? It's area, it's squares, so square centimeters. For the perimeter, once again, we don't need the altitude we're going to add the exterior sides. 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 11 equals 33. 33 what? Centimeters. All right. I think that about wraps it up. Good job.